planting. We are 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 planting. Good morning world from the beautiful island of Shargal. It's been raining for days but we have some beautiful soil here and we are going to do some planting. Wow. Story has made up a planting song. We are planting, do -do 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 -do. we are planting. <laughs> and what are you going to be planting today? I'm going to be planting. Looks like Maida is joining us today. Look at these. Yeah. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. What else are we going to plant today? Is it um, pak choy? Sure. Yeah, and here on this island they're called peach eyes. And what was the favourite thing you wanted to plant? Beans! Beans! And what's those? Pumpkin. Pumpkins! Here you go, Dad. What tools do you have? I have a fork, mm -hmm. a rake, yeah. and a spade. <laughs> they're lovely colours, aren't they? Yeah. Which one are you going to use first? Okay. Have you found a good location? Push it in. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it is. This is where we're going to plant then. Okay, that's your chosen spot, yeah? Um, can I borrow your fork? Okay, you go. Thank you very much. I'll go and plant over there. So today is all about planting and cooking. Sasha is preparing a meal inside that we're going to join her and help her with in a minute after we've planted our vegetables. How's it going over there? Yeah. Yeah, have you planted anything yet? Not yet. You're still digging, yeah? I'm still digging. You're going to dig. My one is going to be really big. How big? It's going to go all the way from me to you. What? Yeah, that big. I put out, I might ruin it. That's right. And what about Maida? Should we bury Maida? Should we plant her? No. <laughs> she might grow bigger. No. No, not really. Don't bury dogs. <laughs> You found a treasure? Look. What's that? It's a rock. Look at this silly dog. Do you think she's looking for worms? I think so. I think so too. Yeah. I think we've disturbed the ground. Okay, can you put that outside? Look, why is helping you? <laughs> Although I think she's <laughs> yeah, she's got an interest in something under the ground. Wow, look at those. Pink. Magic beans, aren't they? Yeah, they're my favourite ones. Do you want to plant those then? Where do you want to put your first one? Um, so Story's going for the Baggio beans, aren't you? Yeah. Dad, can you hold these? Put my finger in. Yeah. And put the seed in. That's it. Then cover it up. And then cover it up. And then it'll plant. You might as well plant them all. What do you think? Might as well, yeah. Hmm? Because we don't know which ones are going to survive and which ones are going to die. Mummy's taking some pictures of her preparing work already. <laughs> Are you ready to be chef? I'm Story. Story the chef, yeah? Yeah, I'm Story Ember and Story. Okay. My short name is Story Ember, my big name is Story. I see. I think you got that the wrong way around, but what are we doing today? I <laughs> <laughs> haven't actually told you what we're making. Shall I tell you now? What? Turon. What's Turon? It is fried banana, basically, what? in a uh, lumpia wrapper. Lumpia. So, it's really easy. Banana. Yeah, what have we got here? Sugar. Yeah, what have we got here? Lumpia. Yeah, and what's this? Chocolate. Yeah, this is... Very, very sweet. Chocolate sauce. It's actually left over from Christmas. So, rather than normal, I think you would have a caramel dipping sauce or like sauce to go over the top but because I had this we're just going to use a chocolate sauce. Okay. So the Filipino lumpia is normally like a spring roll that you fry, it's normally just got vegetables in it. Sometimes I think they may have some fish in it but this one is a dessert version of that same thing so we couldn't really find many official recipes for this I think it might be a family specific dish but the idea of sugar dipping a banana and wrapping it in a lumpia and putting some chocolate sauce on it Sounds very decadent. <laughs> Sasha and I have been okay. eating very yeah. healthily recently. Yeah, it's going to be quite rich, so we only made six of them. Look. And still be showing us how it's done. Okay. Let me show you. You have to plonk it in there. Yeah. Yeah, and then what? 
to roll it in here. Yeah. Like this. Yep, put the sugar all yeah, over I the banana. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, put it there. <laughs> Excellent. These are the lumpia wrappers that we're using that we got in the market the other day. And like Jay just said, I only prepared enough to make six turons, just because I, I don't know how it's going to go. I've not made these before, so I wanted it to be quick and easy. So we're just going to do a small amount. And if they're really delicious, we've got more wrappers left over. <laughs> Dip finger in the water, and then you roll it around the edge of the wrapper like that, just to make it sticky, just the edge. Yeah? All around, do a big circle. We need to wrap it up like a baby. So what you do, you take the bottom bit, yeah. you take your bottom bit, and you fold it upwards over the banana, tucking his little feet in. That's it. And then get the top. Get the top. Tuck his head in. Okay. And then somehow <laughs> we roll the sides over. <laughs> Not bad effort Shrugging. though. Yeah. It's quite tricky to do okay. this story, so well done. Let's leave his top for now. Hmm? Yeah, you roll it over. And then I think we need a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Just stick it down like that. Okay. Is that the finished product? about right. Mm, I did bad. the like top and bottom tuck so it doesn't all seep out. It looks a bit like a, more like a burrito shape yeah. isn't it? I guess it should hold this shouldn't it? Yeah I'm just going to tuck yours a bit tighter Story, is that okay? Yeah. Okay that's it. I'll do that first. Get them nice and covered. It's fiddly isn't it Story? Yeah. You're good at it though, you've got a good yeah. technique going on. So another reason for getting Story outdoors and doing a bit of gardening and planting today is because next week we have her enrolled in a forest school here on the island, which means that rain or shine, I think the kids will be outside working in nature, doing planting, some farming, and also cooking. So we're doubling our efforts to remind Story of the fun side of all of this. We haven't done this for a while, and I don't think we actually planted anything since September last year. So it would be good to see the stuff growing again. And now we know what we enjoy eating. We really want more puk chui, which is why I planted big rows of puk chui today. Hopefully the baguio beans will come out really nice because that was Story's little growing project. And hopefully Story will really enjoy the forest school that she goes to next week. In the meantime, hopefully we all enjoy these lovely tarons. Is it taron? Taron, yeah. Mm. I think so. I, can't, I tried to look up like what Turon means or any kind of background behind what they are, but there wasn't really anything in mind. Uh, it is a Filipino specific dessert. dessert. Yeah, I think Turon just means like fried banana. <laughs> How's your messy hands? Not good. Yeah? What do you mean not good? It's fun to have messy hands. You're a kid. <laughs> Kids yeah. love being messy, don't they? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You don't like being messy, do you? Hmm, we'll see. Actually, ever since Story's been a little girl, she's always liked to clean up after herself, hasn't she? Yeah, she's always been quite clean and neat. Yeah, so. like with painting and everything. I remember even when she was like 18 months old, if she got paint on her hands, she was like going, ah, flapping it wrong, <laughs> trying to get it clean. Yeah. And we're saying, it's okay, just be dirty for a while. And she'd walk around like with a little tiny bit of like paint on her finger, going, oh, oh, <laughs> help, help. <laughs> yeah, you have to get over that story. Right, last bit, last bit, and then we're finished. There we go, the last bit story. This is excellent work. Yeah, thank you for your help. All right, my little mini batch of banana tarons are going into the frying pan now. Let's turn it on. And in here there is a quarter cup of coconut oil. So let's wait for that to heat up. Make these nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. That's a bit flat, isn't it? It's in the oil. Now that oil was really hot, Story. Yeah. Okay, it's called frying this. They got brown. They went brown, didn't they? Yeah. That's because they're cooked now. The lumpia is cooked. Yeah, Dad. Yeah. When Mummy turns the other way, they might get brown too. Yeah. That way might get brown too. It will. Just soak up the excess oil on the tissue, and then we can try it when it's cooled down. Voila! <laughs> <laughs> All done. There we go. All done. Now you're going to be chief. Chocolate drizzler to so just bring it over the top like that. Chief, chief, chief. All right, do a nice artistic drizzle, please, all over the tarons. Ready? Go. go. That's it. <laughs> Hold it up a little bit higher so it makes a thin string. Oh, whoa! Look at that. That drawing. 
Is that it good? Yeah. Should we do one more? Yeah, I'll, I'll do one more. Yeah. Okay. Drizzle! That's it. Drizzle! I'm a star superhero, Dad. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Good job. Does that look really nice? Yeah, I think I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> She's... Oh. Ready to eat, Story? Yeah. Bringing your animals with you? <laughs> yeah, I just want to tie it on something. Oh, you got two doggies. <laughs> I've got two doggies on. I know. I'm walking a tie on them. Look at this. Story decided that we needed fire or a candle at the table, so she actually went and created one. How beautiful is that? It's good. You made your own candle. I love it. That's golden. Oh, uh -huh. is that what keeps us warm, yeah? Yeah. Are you ready to try your snacks? It tastes good? Yeah. Can you taste the banana? It's probably mostly lumpia at the moment. <laughs> How about the chocolate sauce? How's that taste? Good. Can you taste Ooh. the sugar crumbles as well? Oh, look at that. <laughs> no, just lick it, Story. It's okay. Are you the cleanest like, little girl in the world or something? I'm a big girl. <laughs> Ready to try? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Wow. Mmm, delicious. It's really nice. I don't think I could eat any more than two of these, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. Not had one of these before. No. First time. It is really yummy, isn't it, Story? Yeah. I'm really happy with this. Good mm. job, Story. Really good cooking. <laughs> You're putting the whole thing in your mouth. Thank you for helping me. High five. <gasps> Boom. The rains are back. These just seeds are going to be getting a nice water in. Yeah, that is the only upside I think to this kind of weather. <laughs> Get them off to a good start. <laughs> what will happen? The worms will come out now, Mum. The worms will come out, yeah. Mum? Yeah. Look at this eagle guy. Story's just set up a little game down there. She's happily playing. The banana turons went down a treat. I said I could only eat two and I ended up eating three. Yeah. <laughs> And they a half, because you're going to finish stories as well. They are kind of warish, <laughs> They say. are. Hoping that the weather does clear up a little bit from tomorrow onwards, because we are going on a little staycation into GL. We won't give anything away today. You'll have to tune in on the next vlog to find out where we go. And after our GL staycation, we are going on a trip. We are leaving the island. Yes. But, yes, but for a very good reason. Hopefully, all going well, we will be picking up our dog. We decided that we are going to travel together because they recently lifted some of the restrictions on the travel, made it a little bit easier. Yes. And we thought it would be fantastic to see a bit more of the Philippines. We've got a driver hired that's going to take us to Butuan. And that is where Eden is going to fly into our dog. And then we're going to bring her back. We're going to stay in a hotel for a few days. Just appreciate being with her again. Yes. Getting to know her again. Yeah. It's been over a year since we left our dog behind in England. I know. And we miss her so much. And all yeah. things going well, this will be it. This will be our reunited moment. So lots of exciting things ahead. Yeah. We've got a busy week ahead. This is like our last day of just being at home mm -hmm. and getting stuff done and relaxing and just playing nicely with Story. So after today, it's gonna to be go, 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 isn't it? <laughs> it really is, but I think it's good for us. We have been stuck in with the rain for a long time and you start to feel a little bit slow mm -hmm. and I wanna speed up again. I wanna yeah. get out there and do stuff and just the weather has been the worst factor. And it just so happens that Jay and I actually made a traveller. Story really misses travelling just as much as we do and the other day just out of the blue she just came out and said dad when can we travel again mm. no, <laughs> she, she, said, she said when do you think travel will be allowed again? <laughs> yeah. it's different yeah. yes so she knows that you know what's going on and everything and she's asking about uh, airplanes and travel and things like yeah, that free movement yeah and because it's your freedom we're talking about isn't it yeah and we have noticed that i'm sure it's the same with any child but the longer story stays in the house or in one place she starts getting irritated or you have to do a lot more with her than what you would normally to kind of keep her 
occupied or happy and mm, it's noticeable isn't yeah it? it's yeah. definitely noticeable so and every time we go out story questions is this a holiday mm. like are we, where are we going like she wants new things and i think that's a nice thing mm. but just right now with the travel restrictions and island weather it's just kind of hampered some of our plans difficult yeah so there's going to be a lot of fun vlogs coming up over the next couple of weeks weather permitting we may even get an island hopping tour in yes so i'm really excited about that. <laughs> so we have plenty to share but that's it for now for today's vlog hope you enjoyed it please hit the like and subscribe button and we will see you next time for another video bye, bye. <laughs>